It's holiday time. And you know what that means? Family fights. This week kicks off the holiday season in America, and that means that millions of families this Thanksgiving will sit down and begin bickering. In fact, this year is going to be exceptionally fun because we're going to be arguing about the recent presidential election. And regardless of who you voted for, at least half of the country is angry with the other half. I would suggest the following. Make a promise not to fight about politics. But, like any good American family, you're going to need something to fight about. I'm going to give you five things that you're going to fight about about your pets. Number five. Which is better, cats or dogs? If you happen to be like me and have both dogs and cats, you can abstain from the fight, but I wouldn't encourage it. Kick in with your best, they're so bad, mine is better, mine is smarter, Whatever argument you want to make, just have fun with the cats versus dogs. Besides, it's better than Democrats versus Republican. Number four, argue about medical treatment for your pets. Come on, you know you want to wade into the whole vaccine problem. There's got to be something that your family can disagree about when it comes to the veterinary medical care that people like me provide. And if you run out of topics, you can always complain about cost. Who says Thanksgiving isn't fun? Number three, a good disagreement involves where should your pets sleep? There are some people, believe it or not, that don't let their animals sleep on the bed with them. Heck, there are people that don't even allow their dogs and cats on the couch. So if you have one of those kind of people in your family, needle them a little. The look on their face is priceless when you describe your senior pet's problems with incontinence. <gasps> My second biggest family argument about pets during the holidays is where should you feed them? I mean, should they be fed in the kitchen, in the dining room, outside, in the garage, in the snow? Chances are your family will not agree on this simple fact of life. Call your pet into the dining room and offer them your plate. That should go over really well. And the number one indisputable way to start a family fracas, what you should feed your pet. You're going to have family members that feed raw food. You're going to have family members that home cook the meals. You're going to have family members that buy the cheapest food they can find. You're going to have a brawl. The best food for a dog is sit back and enjoy the show. These are five things that you may want to avoid bringing up at all when you sit down at the dinner table. This holiday season, reflect on all the blessings that you have. Be thankful for the animals that we share our lives with. They make us better people and they'll never argue about food. If you like content like this, of course, typically it's more serious, smash that subscribe button. Happy holidays!